Hi there, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions working on yet another design here in Chief Architect in 3D. I've got this situation where we've added the second floor and for definition I would like to put a trim board right here beneath the gable right up kind of as a pilaster um, behind this railing kind of to match the uh, corner board over here. Now the purpose uh, what I want to share this video for is using layers. Again I'm very uh, uh, passionate or, or I, I believe it's best if we use the right layers. Um, so what I'm drawing is essentially a corner board so I want to put that on the corner boards layer. I'm gonna go up to second floor here and if I go into CAD CAD current CAD layer here, or I've created uh, my toolbars so that it has that option right, right here. Current CAD layer, I'm going to type CO on my keyboard. It's going to jump right to corner boards. And so everything I'm drawing now is on the corner boards layer. You can see right below my, at the bottom of my screen, right below my cursor, it says CAD layer corner boards. So I'm going to draw something as I draw a polyline, uh, I hit the tab key, I'm going to go five and a half wide, three quarters high, and actually I'm going to make that three and a half wide, and extrude it, make it a polyline solid. Uh, let's say uh, 108, nine feet, Elevation at the top, we're going to say 200. I'll fix that all in a moment. Move that up against the siding. And let's actually put it in the right um, place in plan view. Zooming out, it should match right the um, corner board over here. So um, I'm going to take this about three quarters inch from the edge, from the left edge of the corner board or the trim board, and place that on the railing line there. There you go. Now all I need to do is paint it the right color. And actually, I think I've got a pretty doggone good uh, height for it. Um, so from here, I might uh, I might put you know corbels under here to give further definition for this gable. Uh, but otherwise, there's um, drawing a custom object on a specific layer because that's pretty much what it is. It's a corner. It's not quite a corner board, but it's a it's a trim board. And that would make sense to go on the corner boards layer. And by drawing it on that layer, now I know it's going to be visible and invisible in all the right layer sets that I've got all my elevations, camera views, uh, plan views, etc. So again, Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions working on Chief Architect in 3D.